Welcome to FM Driving School. Some call me the professor of driving, but we're not here to rob a bank. But what are you talking about? I passed my driving test. What are you talking about? Hey everyone, welcome again to FM Driving School. You're with me, FM Qualified Driving Instructor. I'm a, so I see I'm a today, special today, the Dajjal. All right, so he's going to be our examiner. He's going to keep his eye out for us. If we make any major faults, he's going to be on my case or any minor faults. If I make any mistakes, let me know, comment below. We don't advocate violence towards examiners, so please, no strangling. Um, anyway, we're here, we're going to do a mock test. We're going to show you how to avoid failing your test. Of course, in life, sometimes things don't go your way. You may end up failing, you may make a mistake, but we're going to try and minimize that. Do watch the whole clip. We're going to do a test route right now. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share it out. Let's go straight to the clip. Let's get going. Gear one, biting point, six point check. Okay, indicate, and let's go. Check my mirrors, indicate left, I'm turning left here. Scan, look both ways, edge out. It's clear to go, I'm gonna go. Stick to my lane on the left. Check my mirrors again, and let's get going. Gear three. Keep my distance between me and this car in front of me. Check my mirrors. Can you left um, just before the fire station? So mirror checks, interior left. Indicate about six to eight cars length. I'm in gear three, so I'm gonna brake about now. Clutch down, go down to gear two. Double check the left mirror, it's clear to go. Push and pull technique with the steering wheel, having control of the steering wheel. Check my mirrors again. Turning right here, check my mirrors, interior right, indicate. There's a box for me to get into. Gonna get myself into the box. They have priority in front of us. Go to gear one, the cars behind me can squeeze through. Look into the road and let's go. 20 miles an hour zone I can see. Can't see in front of me, so I'm just gonna take my time. I can see a car coming, pulling slightly to the left and just wait for him. So if you notice, I planned quite nicely there, just in case a car was to come, which there was. Check my mirrors, interior right, swing back out. No need to indicate, you're in a meeting scenario, you don't indicate for these situations. Go to gear two. I'm just going to go to gear three, I might bring it back down to gear two at the bend up ahead. Car's doing all right, so I don't need to bring it back down. I want to take the second road on the left. So I count one, and then two. Check my mirrors, interior left, indicate. Brake, clutch down, go down to gear two. Look into the road. It's quite sharp here. And then here's a little tricky part. A lot of students don't realise actually there's another road in front of us because of the giveaway line. Um, go back to gear one, so indicate right, scan thoroughly. So let me just stop here and just explain one thing quickly to you. So because it's such a short road, people forget that, okay, you have to still look both sides of the road. So anyway, that's just a quick tip for my students. Um, keep looking both ways and let's go. You know, back to the test route. Um, I'm not teaching here, I'm just going to do the test now. Go to gear three, 20 miles an hour zone. Check my mirrors. You can see a car behind me. I'm just gonna find some safety stop now. So there's one little gap here. Check my mirrors, interior left, indicate. Pull myself in. Clutch down, brake, 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 gently brake. And stop giving, you, giving yourself enough room to move off. Handbrake neutral, cancel indicator. All right, so the examiner is now going to ask you to pull off. Biting point, six, uh, six point check. Indicate, handbrake goes down and let's go. Back to gear two. He's going to ask you again, pull up somewhere safe. 
Check my mirrors, interior left, indicate. Get yourself in. Double check. Brake, clutch goes down right now. Keep braking. And then I'm gonna go to gear one, cancel the indicator. Okay, move off again one more time. Six point check. Indicate, I'm in gear one. Let's move off. Here the examiner's not gonna ask you where to go. You're gonna have to figure it out. So I can see the arrow on the, uh, the sorry, the sign. So check my mirrors, interior left, indicate. Uh, 40 miles an hour zone up ahead onto a Joe Casual break. Clutch time, gonna have to gear one cause I can't see. So very busy junction right now. We're on a dual carriageway, coming up to a dual carriageway. Lean forward. I can't see because of the park cars. I'm gonna edge out, edge out, edge out. Yeah, it looks clear. Okay, I'm gonna go sticking to my lane. But now he's gonna ask you turn right at the traffic lights. Check my mirrors. Interior right. Indicate. Push yourself into the right lane here, middle lane, and then again check my mirrors. Inter uh, so in interior right. Indicate right. Get yourself in after the thick white line. So into the broken white lines here. Okay. Brake, clutch goes down, gonna have to gear one. Handbrake, neutral, actually no. Stay in gear one. Interior, right, one more time. Go up to gear two. It's green filter light. Um, it's amber now, but we're already past the stop line, so we're gonna go. Okay, we're in gear two, we're staying gear two. Um, let me go up to gear three for a little bit. I know there's a speed bump, come, not speed bump, a hill coming up ahead, but the car's struggling. We're in the middle of the road, so hopefully he waits. I'm just gonna go to gear two now. Check my left mirror, interior left. Thank you, move back in. Go to gear one now. Because uh, I'm rolling, I didn't want to use a handbrake here. Check my mirror's interior right. Up to gear two, we're turning right at the end of this road. Indicate right. It's going slightly uphill, so brake, clutch goes down, go down to gear one. I may have to use the handbrake if I stop. I'm gonna try and roll very gently, that way I don't have to stop. Keep looking both ways, lean forward if necessary. Yeah, it's clear to go. Okay. Red car coming, I'm just gonna go to two, there's enough space for both of us. 20 miles an hour zone. Check my left mirror, move back in slightly so this car can fit through. Check my mirrors again, interior right, move back out. And interior left, because I can see two cars, I'm just going to push in so they can get through. And then interior right, move back out again. Maintaining a good speed because it's 20 miles an hour. Back home where I'm from, um, I come from this little um, island, Sicily. My granddad used to have this saying, it goes something like, um, Chi va piano, va sano e va lontano. It means he who goes slow, goes safely and far. So make sure you maintain 20 miles an hour, don't be going too fast. Up ahead. Okay. Great, clutch down, going to gear two. I can't see it at all, so I'm going to go to gear one now. And scan thoroughly, yeah, I'm going straight, so it's clear to go. So you could have, no, not that you could have, but a student might have, ta might have taken it in gear two and gone. But you can't see properly, so you have to be even more cautious and take it in one. So if you can't see, don't rush, there's no need to. We have another saying, um, it goes something like, Il gatto fretto lo so, ha fatto i gattini cecchi. Which means, the hasty cat gives birth to blind so kittens. Three for now. Meaning, if you rush things, you won't get the results that you want. I'm turning right at the roundabout. So up ahead there's a bend and a speed bump. I'm, just, uh, I'm gonna go to gear two for now because the car's struggling slightly. So there you go. Dealt with the speed bump and the bend is gonna reduce your speed slightly. And there's a roundabout sign. I'm gonna turn you right if you remember. So interior right, indicate right. Now you, again, you can't see properly on the right because of that wall. So I'm gonna take in gear one. Follow this shape, it swings out quite a lot. Indicate again, he's blocking in, but I'm gonna change my mind and stop. 
I was about to go, but then I changed my mind. He's in the cane. I'm gonna go. Swing out and then swing back in. Going to gear two now. You can go to gear two now if you want to. Um, I had a bit more control. And gear three. 20 miles an hour zone again. Be aware. Check your mirrors. Clear road, very easy to go really fast here. Maintain your speed, there's a car right behind me. He may overtake me, it's his choice. Not a lot of people like 20 miles an hour. Scan, zebra crossing, scan. Left at the kind of left at the roundabout. Check our mirrors, interior left, indicate. Okay, turn it left again, check my mirrors, indicate. Hashtag on to gear two, check again, it's clear to go. Just gonna go. Check my mirrors, be slow. So this car's reversing out, um, and he carried on reversing. No problem. We'll just let's lift this up a bit. So I'm going to turn right here. And once I'm in, I'm just going to stop the car and fix the camera for you guys. So apologies for that. The camera, um, I didn't <laughs> didn't secure it properly. So we're in the car park and we're gonna find somewhere safe to park. Um, you can pick you can pick any side the examiner gives you the choice. Sometimes they pick it for you, they will say park on the left or park on the right. Um, even if you don't follow the direction, um, you don't feel for that. So pick anywhere you want. Let me tell you a funny story. I had one oh, I was teaching once here in a car park and I saw a student on the test. So there were some spaces to park, but they decided to go all the way to the end. Which is fine, um, but it was empty, it was completely empty. And they went all the way to the end. They turned left. Left again. And then they came all the way back here. And then I found a bay on this side to park. Um, which is fine, it's your choice. I know when you're nervous, sometimes you miss things, you, you miss like the easy sports. But well, let's get in now anyway. We're gonna check our mirrors interior, right indicate. I'm gonna go to number three here. And then once I'm in, straighten up, brake, handbrake neutral. The examiner's now gonna ask you to get out of the bay. So do my, sorry, again to reverse, do my checks. Be extremely careful here because there's gonna be a lot of people walking back and forth and cars trying to pull out. Keep looking. <coughs> Take your time, there's no rush here. Okay, let's get out of the car park. So hopefully now the camera is fixed on. And um, again, apologies for that. So, miss a bit on my face, never mind. I'm 
gonna grab the car park now so check my mirrors interior right indicate right watch out for this lady she may cross yeah he's indicating we're gonna go Now we're gonna go left at the end of this road at the roundabout. This car's pulling out. I'm just gonna break oh, a bit. Oh, come on, man. I'm in gear two. Check my mirrors, interior left, indicate. So if you were the student in the car in front of us and you pull out like that, affecting me, the car behind you would fill. You never let anybody slow down or brake for you if it's their priority. Check my mirrors again. Looking at the roundabout on the right, it's clear to go. I'm gonna make, yes, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to get you quickly. You can see 30 miles an hour zone. I'm gonna stay in gear two actually. I won't go to three because of the roundabout right in front of us. Looking ahead, clear to go. Check my right mirror because there's two lanes here. Merges in up ahead. Brake for the zebra crossing. Clutch down, might go to gear one. And then we're just gonna move off slowly and then go back to gear two. I'm turning right here at the traffic lights. So examiner can take you straight or right in this particular route. We're gonna go for the hard, harder route. Check my mirrors, interior right. I'm gonna indicate right. Check my right mirror again. I'm gonna squeeze in slightly because you're allowed to. Checking my right thoroughly. And push in. If you look ahead, it's a crossroad. Uh, there's enough room for one more car. And we're the last car, which is a bit more dangerous because um, we have to go in if you're in. Keep looking, edge out. And lean forward, edge out, keep looking, keep looking, go to gear, it is clear. And I'm gonna go all the way to the left lane straight away. So that was a crossroad, quite a difficult crossroad, quite a bigger crossroad than the other crossroads in, in Isleworth. That's where we're at. Okay, I mean, I'm 30 miles an hour, I'm gonna go up to gear four now, check my mirrors, check my right mirror to move out slightly, and then move back in. So there was something on the road, so I just slightly moved out of the way for it. So I'm still about 30 miles an hour because the car in front of me is quite slow. I could try to no try and overtake, um, but I'm, I know I'm going to be turning left soon, so I'm not going to overtake just yet. So, do you know what? Let's just show you why it's like to overtake. So I'm building on my speed now. There's a light. I'm just going to wait for the lights. Okay, brake, clutch down. And then I'm gonna go straight to gear one. So yeah, I was just about to show you how to overtake. It's not a problem, but then we had to consider what if the lights were to change, which I was. Lights changed, so I changed my mind and decided not to overtake. No problem, you're allowed to do that. But always planning, always planning ahead. Back to gear one, biting point, just stay there, stay alert. Keep looking both ways. Okay, no one's holding at me, don't worry. It's a car on the far right. Okay. Check my mirrors, building up my speed. I'm gonna try to get up to 40. There you go, up to 40 into gear four. Check my mirrors. Just know who's around you, know about your surroundings. Slightly come off the gas in case the lights change. It hasn't changed now, back on the speed. Watch out for the car in the middle, look, he's coming in. Check my mirrors. Red lights up ahead, no, green lights up ahead. So that means it may ch change to red, and there you go, it has changed to red. What can I say? He is the one. No. Brake, clutch goes down. Let me just go to gear two, because the gears can't handle the speed. Keep braking, keep the clutch down now, go down to gear one. Just gonna put the handbrake up, right foot over to the gas, biting point, be ready. Check your mirrors. Okay, let's get going. Check my mirrors again. Go up to gear two, speed. Go up to gear three, speed. Up to gear four. Okay, get your speed up to 40 miles an hour.
the exam is going to say to you, turn left at the traffic lights. But, let me just show you one thing. Check out mirrors, interior left. Indicate. Get yourself back in. And then, leave the indicator on again. I'm going to start braking. Go down to gear two. Keep braking, come off the clutch. And look into the road. Turn myself in. I'm going to turn right at this roundabout. Watch this lady. Oh, come on, wait. There you go. Check my mirrors. Interior right. Indicate. Right and then left. So brake. We're in gear two. Look into the road. It's clear to go. And then left at the next roundabout. Check my mirrors. Interior left. Indicate. Again, it's clear to go. We're going to go. And go up to gear three. Check your mirrors again. So what's the speed here? Did you guys see it? If you don't see it, the best guess for now is 30. There's no signs, uh, lamp, so there's no signs the street lamps represent 30 miles an hour. So we're just gonna build up our speed up to 30 until we see a sign of 20. Check your mirrors again. again there you go that's 20 miles an hour brake we're in gear 2 stay in gear 2 keep braking up to 20 miles an hour lights are green they may change to red that's what we're thinking Ray, clutch down, go down to gear two, check my mirrors. No wait before the lights, because there's not enough space for one more car. Now there is, keep checking the lights. Go to gear one, just wait for him to turn in. Gear two, lights are changing again. So I'm going to stay in gear 2 and I can see arrows on the floor. So I'm going to hog or stay on this right lane to go straight. If the examiner has to tell you where to go, you assume you're going straight. So handbrake, let's go to neutral. Gear 1, biting point, double check the mirrors. Gear two, check your left mirror in case somebody cuts in from the left side by mistake. I'm gonna stay in gear two because if you look ahead, there's a bend. You can see the lines on the floor, that means you turn towards the right. We can see a bus lane with no, with no timings on it, that means you're not allowed to use it at all. 20 miles an hour zone, turning left at the next set of traffic lights. I'm going to gear one now, keep braking. And then feed back to the gas. Go to gear two, check my mirrors. Look into the road. I can see traffic lights, so I'm turning left here. So I check my left mirror. Indicate left. Push yourself to the left lane. Brake. Clutch goes down, go down to gear one again. Handbrake up so I can move my right foot to the gas, bite it point, be ready. And it's clear to go. Double check the left mirror, go to gear two before the turn. Let's turn in, let's turn left at the next traffic lights. So I'm gonna stick to the left lane. Check my mirrors, interior left, indicate 20 miles an hour zone. to the left lane. Now there's a bus in front of us. He may stop at our bus stop. We have to consider that. So we have to be checking our mirrors, ready to overtake if need be. Stay at 20 miles an hour. Look into the road. 
past seven. Look at the traffic lights. Buses indicate. Check my mirrors. Interior right. Indicate. Move across. And then you're gonna move back in, but we're turning right at the traffic lights. So we're gonna hog the right lane. So check my mirrors. Indicate right. Green light. The cars in front are not moving. That means they they got red light at this crossroad. Get yourself into the box. It's clear to go. Look into the road. Get yourself in. Check your mirrors. 20 miles an hour zone. Keep going. Let's go straight at this traffic lights. Brake, clutch down. Where's that noise? It's, it's in front of us. Handbrake neutral, relax. Gear one, biting points. Okay. Keep looking at your mirrors. Gear two. The car in front has to wait for you. Gear three. There's a bend. I might bring it back that down to gear two in a bit. Let's see. If the car struggles, I will. It's not struggling, it's doing alright. So we're gonna stay in gear three. We're turning left at the second set of road. Here's here's the first one, the second set. Check my mirrors, interior left. Indicate left about an hour. Break, look how sharp that road is. So I'm gonna go to gear one from three, you can go to gear one. It's really narrow, really sharp here. This out is trying to come in as well. There's a cyclist. Hog your lane, there's a car, is he gonna wait? And yes he is, so we're gonna go. Check my mirrors, thank you. 20 miles an hour zone. We're gonna stay in gear two because of this car. The van in front of us. He might cut inside. He might cut in quickly. Okay, I'm gonna stay in gear two, just cause we're on the hill here. We're going straight at the roundabout. I want to still stay in gear two. Brake, look into the road, look right. It's clear to go. We're gonna go, watch out for this pedestrian. Yeah, he waited for you. Sharp speed bump here, so we're gonna break it even more. We can't see past the bend, we have to be even more cautious now. There's a van coming, I can see the top of the van. Go to gear one and wait for him. Check my mirrors, interior right, be ready to go. It's all right. There you go. And go to gear two, carry on driving. Stay in gear two. Brake. Check your right mirror, interior right. Up to gear three. Back in slightly more towards the left now. Check your mirrors. Find somewhere safe to stop. Check my mirrors, interior left, indicate, pull in. Okay, and brake, neutral. Let's move off from here. Gear one, by tip or six point check. Indicate, and move across. Gear three, turning left at the end of the road. Check my mirrors, interior left. We're just gonna delay the indicator because of this road here. Now we're gonna indicate. Great, clutch down, going down to gear two. It's quite a wide junction, so as we get there, start scanning. If it's clear, we can stay in gear two and go without stopping. Check my mirrors again, 20 miles an hour, gear three, turning right at the roundabout. Check 
check my mirrors interior right indicate right indicate again it's come off clutch down gonna take it to follow the shape of the road scan on the right indicate again and it's clear we're gonna go straighten up check my mirrors interior right move across check all my mirrors now Check my mirrors interior right, I'll let her go and then move back out. Check my mirrors interior left, move back in. straight on the roundabout keep checking your mirrors check my mirrors interior right we're turning right here indicate break going gear two look into the road look ahead we're gonna make it and then we're going to turn right into the test center. Check my mirrors interior right. And get yourself in. And get yourself in. Check my mirrors interior right. And let's get ourselves in. Let's get examiner in. This is a Dajjal. So how do you guys think I did in my test? So before I tell you the mistakes, yes, I purposely made some mistakes, not because I'm a dumb instructor. Um, write, write down in the comment below what are the mistakes before I tell you the answers. So let's see your knowledge of the test. It's good to know what the mistakes are for yourself so that you don't commit it. So tell me now, write down below. Let's see what you guys got. So now that you're back, let's go through all the mistakes. Firstly, the, the most dumbest mistake, the easy, not dumbest, but the easiest mistake that we make is um, the six point check. I wasn't checking over my right blind spot like this. Gear one, Now the reason why I didn't do it is it's quite common, very common okay, actually for students. Do so all the checks okay, up to that again, right mirror, six point check. And then forget to check over their Indicate. right shoulder. So if you notice in the video, um, I wasn't looking at it at all, at all. So I'm going to give myself, and in quite a few occasions as well. And a hint for you is, um, if you notice in one of the rows, I pulled over, the examiner asked me to move off again, and within the same row, straight away, he's asked me to pull back in. Now that's quite, sometimes it's a hint. Sometimes it's a hint, like, mate, you're not doing something right. Why would he pull you back in straight away? Um, it's not always the case, but just bear in mind, it could be that maybe you're doing something wrong. And in my case, I was, I wasn't checking over the blind spot. So a few times I've sat with the students sitting behind them in the test. And I've, and I've seen it happen where students forgot the blind spot check. The examiners then straight away ask them, can you pull over again? Bear that in mind. The second major fault. I'm going to give myself a major fault for that, by the way. It was initially a minor fault, but it happened too many times. It became a major fault. Obviously, I was making sure it was safe though before I went, so don't try this at home. But if there was a car coming and I didn't check my blind spot, um, then it becomes a major fault. Okay, now the second major fault, I don't know if you saw it. Let me know. I'm going to give you a few seconds because it's quite, it's quite important. It's quite an important major fault that happened. So as I was on the dual carriageway, I was on the left lane. As we drove over the dual carriageway, the lane split up. Yes, so now here yeah, is up to me to move back into the left lane. If you notice, I stayed in the middle lane. Then I had two cars undertake me. Major faults straight away. But the examiner, it, it, look, major faults are subjective as well. Don't forget that. It is up to the examiner. Um, so I had to turn left at that particular route. It's actually, you have to turn left in that route. They don't really take you straight because um, they have to bring you back into the test centre. But anyway, so... Now I have to move myself back into the left lane because of the route. 
Now, I've seen it happen where a student's being saved because he has to turn left anyway, so now it doesn't become a major fault. Um, but it's up to the examiner. He may think, you know what, um, you hogged the middle lane for too long, I'm going I'm to give you a major fault. Another examiner might say, actually, we need to turn left, so you're lucky that we were turning left, so then you move back into the left lane and we didn't stay too long. But the reason why I'm going to give a major fault was we had two cars undertaking us, so... Um, it's too obvious, it's too bait that you're doing something wrong in that situation. Hopefully that was helpful guys. That's a test route. If there's any questions, any other mistakes I've done, leave a comment below. Uh, you know, we can all make mistakes, but I'll try my best to show you a mock test. Um, I was slightly teaching it slightly at the beginning. I forget I'm, I'm in a mock test. Um, it's just a natural habit of me as a teacher to try and explain things to you guys. But um, do like, comment, share, pass it along, and hopefully you pass your driving test. So there you have it, that's the mock test with the mistakes, we've done two mistakes purposely, the six point check, not checking the blind spot and hogging the middle lane or the far right lane, you have to always move back to the left lane. I did leave out the sat nav purposely again, um, you can watch our other videos for sat navs in the mock test as well. So thank you again, don't forget to subscribe, like it, share it, uh, appreciate all the love, appreciate all the views, thank you for watching, good luck with your driving.